Welcome plungers. Thanks for tapping in. So here we are, as you can see, a few clicks away from the blue ob obelisk. And yeah, we got another property. So let's start this tour, shall we? So this is the, the patio steps. We, we shall enter our property. I'm thinking if they had a bench, I would definitely put a bench right there. Picnic table or something. So this is the workshop. Oh, slammed the door in my own face. So here's the workshop. Similar to the other one with the uh, industrial forge in the center. However, rather than having the other things against the industrial forge, I have them sort of on the outside, on the outskirts of the forge. And yes, I have everything necessary. Five safes this time, because it's a little bit more metal rich out here. And I've got my five preserving bins. Do I have anything in these things? Oh yeah, I got I got some things. I got some things. They all got spark powder in there. <clears throat> I got my uh, my regular forge. This is here, just making me a bunch of charcoal. But it was here initially so I can make the oil for the big boy, which has no gasoline in it currently. Then I got my grinder. You always gotta have a smithy. Got the grinder. Got my fabricator. And everything. Everything works. I love the green light on the bottom of this thing, but it is insanely loud. Got my five safes. Uh, still getting good stuff from drops. Do I have a sickle on me? Yeah, no, that's my sickle right there. I wonder where the heck is. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Where is my sickle? I was asking myself that, but yeah, I've got my, I've got my, uh, my meat refrigerator and I've got my vegan refrigerator. Then I got my chemistry workbench. Oh, let's grab that. And, uh, let's turn this off. Yeah, this is my grill, my cooker. I got some air conditioners here and a trough and my first dire wolf who needs a name and uh, leave a comment in the description for a name for this guy. Uh, his weight isn't very high so I'm not going to ride him right now because it'll be incredibly slow. I'm carrying about 230 pounds. so. So yeah, I've got this bridge here leading to and from my lab because the chateau has a problem. When I open the doors, creatures that are right there could just walk right in and they have. If you've seen the last video, a couple of raptors almost made it inside. I did not catch the alpha carno that came in when I was building. But those two raptors that you see in the last video, if I didn't close the door fast enough, they would have definitely came in. But would you look at how beautiful that is? I did not turn the clouds off this time. I usually do, but yeah, for effect, I'm going to leave those things on because that is really nice. Blue ob and a green drop right behind it. But yeah, got to put some windows. And as you can see, this is not the Minecrafty shape. The boxy, that's a hexagon. And it's a much more rounded and a lot less Minecrafty. Unless you take the Minecraft to whole new levels and turn the blocks into pixels and make things extra large. Yeah. Also in here, I've got uh, partially wood floors. And it took me a minute to clear up all these bushes in here because they were making their way through. And I think this one is either growing back or I couldn't reach them. I did have my generator behind this uh, false wall, but I decided to put my bed in here instead. The generator only covered this half of the building on this side. That side of the building was not covered at all because it is quite big. <clears throat> but here it's 
I don't know what animals. I might put uh, some dire wolves. I'm gonna start an army of some kind in here, but I'm not sure yet. Either raptors or dire wolves, because these mountains are heavy with raptors and dire wolves. Um, over here on this floor is where I put my generator and I put my cryo fridge and my trough. Because as you know, in Ark Survival Ascended, to deploy a creature from a cryopod, you have to be near a cryo fridge. So I put my cryo fridge in the most central location so I could just throw them out in either area that I needed to, like this one. So just toss them out. Uh, this one came from an egg from the Mega Project. I had some dinos breeding over there and the Oviraptor. I think he might have been too way down to pick up the egg. So I got this egg and I got another one in the refrigerator in the workshop downstairs. But I put a bunch of air conditioners here and I hatched them up and he's got some levels to go. I will do that when I'm ready to start breeding because look at this one lime green and orange and gray like such vivid colors it's like an event color color scheme but yeah i'm gonna definitely breed these two and see what i can come up with maybe a red top and a purple bottom or a green top and a lime green bottom which would be ideal especially if i can get the uh get him to look at me hey see that thing on top of his head if I could maintain that with the green and get the lime green bottom oh my goodness I think that would be the color scheme for me and here we go up this incredibly long ladder instead of a staircase I would usually do a staircase but wow the amount of resources that that would have taken is insane so trying to move away from the boxiness of the Minecrafty stuff, I rounded off the edges here, but in doing so, I made it almost impossible to lay down these fences. Oh, and these are double decker also, because I came up this ladder way too fast one time and yeeted myself right over this onto the ground and died. And um, didn't have a bed here yet. So I had to travel all the way back over here with the Argentavis that's downstairs. You'll see him in a minute, but yeah. And I didn't have my grappling hook deployed, which I should have. These two RGs I got out here. So this one, I'm going to breed with a red one. And I don't know exactly yet what I'm gonna do with th this one, but this one's got a lot of different colors on it and I wanna make use of it. So. We're going to make our way down to get an aerial view of this place with my guy here who needs a name, by the way, <clears throat> leave a comment in the comment section for this guy's name and the one I like the most or the one that appears the most. I mean, if I see one that appears twice, I'll probably just name him that. But yeah, this is it from, from the air. Got a little bit more work to do, but it is what it is. And this is how I took the picture before, for the thumbnail. Yeah, I'm rather proud of it actually. Oh, it's got the, the triangular glass roof. I didn't even show you that. Let me do that real quick. Come on, just land, just land. Yep, right there. The glass roof. And I love the way these, these triangular roof pieces fit together so perfectly. I learned a lot. I'm learning. The architect is still learning. But yeah, let's see if I can get up there. Oh yes, I can. And can I swing into the building? Oh, <laughs> I can. Spider-Man vibes here. But yeah. 
it is what it is guys so let me know what you think in the in the comments section um what's next a treetop platform is next and i think another super mega project and full disclosure it's gonna it's gonna be right here on the map all right down here right on this the tip of this peninsula and since i'm saying mega project it might take up the entire island this entire it's not a peninsula it's the tip of an island but it's probably going to take up the entire thing this is a peninsula just to let you know i know what one is this one like florida vibes over there or this one. Oh, this one is definitely florida vibes in fact it's in the right location so this would be texas right so i'm gonna build somewhere in arizona nevada what is on the southernmost point over there arizona nevada one of those things over here I'm gonna build over there and up here where it gets cold that's probably canada canada and I just realized that uh, base six is New York City. Hey, the mega project, the monolith. That's what I'm gonna call it, the monolith is over there. Base three, still, I gotta show you guys base three, which is right next to the Redwoods uh, with intent, because I am scared to death of the Redwoods and Mathila is knocking me off of my steed. But yeah. Thanks for tapping in, guys. Peace.